Gaza, a land that breathes tension and echoes with the sound of conflict, finds itself once again in the midst of chaos. This small strip of land has been the epicenter of a recent surge in violence, triggered by a deadly game of retaliation and counter-retaliation. Palestinian militants launched a barrage of rockets towards Jerusalem, a response to Israeli airstrikes that claimed the life of a senior militant commander. The Israeli military's targets were not random but strategic, aimed at rocket launching sites and weapons manufacturing facilities. Yet this game has no winners, only victims. As the rockets rained down, Israeli civilians were forced to seek shelter. Their lives disrupted by the whistling sound of incoming projectiles. On the other side of the border the cost was even higher. Over 40 Palestinians including 15 innocent children, lost their lives in the onslaught. Even as the Iron Dome defense system intercepted the majority of rockets with remarkable efficiency, the human cost was devastating. As the smoke settles the casualties rise, painting a grim picture of this weekend's unrest. Caught in this crossfire is the Iron Dome defense system standing as Israel's shield against the storm of rockets. The Iron Dome, a remarkable piece of engineering, has a staggering 97% success rate in intercepting rockets. This defense system is not just a technological marvel, but a symbol of Israel's resilience in the face of escalating conflict. As the rockets soar, so does the tension between Israel and the militant groups, Hamas and Islamic Jihad. Each launch, each explosion adds another layer to this complex narrative of conflict. Hamas, a familiar player in this ongoing chess match, has surprisingly abstained from retaliation, sparking a glimmer of hope for a ceasefire. On the other hand, Islamic Jihad, actively participating in the conflict, fires rockets into the Israeli skyline, challenging the formidable Iron Dome. Their leader, away in Iran during these clashes, only adds another layer of intrigue to this intricate web of conflict. Yet, amidst this chaos, the Iron Dome stands tall, a beacon in the storm, tirelessly intercepting the barrage of rockets, while peace talks remain a distant glimmer. The Iron Dome, a beacon of hope amidst the turmoil, continues to intercept the storm of rockets, while peace talks remain a distant glimmer. As the world watches, the United Nations and other international bodies respond to the escalating violence. The United Nations, in particular, has made it a priority to restore fuel supply to Gaza, a critical step in re-establishing the region's basic infrastructure. The shutdown of the power plant has left the city in darkness, resulting in widespread electricity cuts and water treatment shutdowns. This has exacerbated the already dire living conditions for the residents of Gaza. Meanwhile, the Palestinian Authority Presidency has not remained silent either, they have strongly condemned Israel's military operation, calling for a forceful response during a UN Security Council session. Their voice is one among many in the international community seeking justice and resolution. The current situation in Gaza is fraught with tension. The most serious violence since the 2021 war between Israel and Hamas has left the city in a state of uncertainty. The leader of Islamic Jihad, having met with Iranian officials amidst the conflict, has added another layer of complexity to the situation. Yet, amidst all this, there is a glimmer of hope. Despite the blame placed on them, Hamas has not retaliated, raising hopes for a ceasefire brokered by Egypt. As the world grapples to restore peace, Gaza remains a land caught in the echoes of conflict, its future hanging precariously in the balance.